do you write about places that you go and see? Yeah, yeah. The the scenario is very important for my works uh, because in the comics the visual part is important, and uh, uh, I love to ride in bike and to see the scenario of uh, near Rome, the the woods, the 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 old uh, the old ruins uh, near Rome yeah. and for my books uh, with, uh, with with for my fantasy books for young adults I very tr um, find some people it's very some people and some place it's very inspiring to to work okay. and Rome is a great scenario to write about uh, drama and tragic comedy. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. And you? You know, it's funny because I often just imagine mm -hmm. because, well, you know, sometimes because I don't have the money to travel. <laughs> um, and then sometimes I just make up a place or I look at maps and I look at pictures and then I try and imagine the people, you know, yeah. in that kind of scenario. I think it's amazing though because you know Julius Caesar in particular is the big play that's so much associated with the politics and the people you know right here in the heart of Rome and him being assassinated yeah and it would have been you know in this area the, all these things would have happened the, the plotting. same is for Coriolanus and uh, Titus Andronicus and uh, Antonio and Cleopatra yeah. uh, it's all a story about uh, uh, people and power yeah uh, people power and the city and the city and uh, and all politics uh, destroy the love, or the love destroy politics. Mm. <laughs> it's a very particular way Shakespeare used the, uh, the love in the politics story. Mm. Uh, Particularly in Antony and Cleopatra. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's funny though, because when I first read Antony and Cleopatra, I think I was probably about 16 or 17, I was still at school. And I remember th what we came away with was really these very powerful images of Egypt and you know the Nile and this m amazing queen but then when you come to Rome and you think yes but this was the contrasting power this was really what Antony was supposed to be in love with much more than he was in love with Cleopatra you know yeah, yeah, this yeah. was why Rome was so pure and you know virtuous and masculine and everything yeah, and Cleopatra is uh, um Sex is, uh, is the most beautiful girl uh, with all the quality of the other. Yes. Que no stufa mai. Cleopatra is not boring. No. Ever. <laughs> Never boring. Never boring. No. No. I think Coriolanus is quite a difficult place somehow because people are not always sure why to hate him. It's not as if, say, he has an obvious flaw. And, you know, I've heard some people argue that it's very difficult to really get to grips with what's going on there. What do you think of the play? Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have any empathy on Coriolanus. No. At the end, Shakespeare called him a hero. Mm. But I see a tyrant who hates people, who not accept the power of the people on him and, and on, on the politics and on the power. Mm. I never understand um, so much the, the point of view of Shakespeare on it. Yeah, so he doesn't have an obvious flaw, but he's, it's, it's almost as if say, he's really deaf to other people. He's not in tune with what the people really need. You know, they're starving, there's this kind of ongoing war, but he's sort of flat. It's like, can that sort of person who's been a soldier then really be a good leader of the people? I think that's one of the questions. What kind of person do you need to lead? There must have been a horrible death. For those people who were punished by being sent off that rock. Uh, yeah, but in my opinion, the only good ending from a tyrant is from a fall from a cliff. Oh, <laughs> oh no, it's a tyrant. <laughs> uh, some, uh, the, the tyrant of, of Shakespeare, uh, uh, there is a supernatural justice in, in the, in the works yeah, of, of Shakespeare. There is, a, there is a supernatural 
justice, yes, or, or a natural justice. Even. Uh, yeah, a natural justice yeah. that you should you should die. There's so much death in the plays. It, it, Most of it feels it's full of play. It, it's full of death, mm. death, love, and and uh, the people who try to reach uh, power and uh, and much and much power and much control on other people. Mm. And in the Roman tragedy, it's very, it's a very, very driven by the search of power, the search to conquer, 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 yeah. conquer Rome. Rome is a is a myth to conquer, to dominate. If you lost Rome, you lost all. Mm -hmm. 